Hello everyone, I am Ben with the BTC Sessions. I am here in Marta Loop, Calgary, and today I would like to talk to you about how to set up your Ledger Nano S with a segregated witness enabled wallet. So SegWit just rolled out on the Bitcoin network. Uh, it allows for cheaper fees and more transactions per second. However, just because it activated does not mean you are yet utilizing those features. Uh, wallet providers have to roll out uh, and enable those features. Now one company that has pretty much been right on the ball with this has been Ledger. And this actually happens to be one of my favorite hardware wallets, if not the favorite hardware wallet. So today I'm going to take a look and show you how to set up a segregated witness enabled wallet on your Ledger Nano S. Okay, so here I am on my desktop and I have my Google Chrome browser open. I have already downloaded my Ledger Wallet Bitcoin as a Chrome app and I already have my Ledger plugged into my computer. Now, if you are unfamiliar with the Ledger Nano S, uh, I have made a video on it before explaining everything about it. Feel free to peek back at that. I will include it in the cards here and I will include it as a link down below. So all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to tap on my Ledger Wallet Bitcoin and it's going to open up this window. So at this point, I'm going to, on my Ledger here, I've got to put in my PIN code. So I'm doing that as we speak. So it just takes a second here. And once I've verified my PIN code, uh, I'm going to pick my account that I'd like to open. So I see this new screen. It asks me, do I want Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash? Well, this video is all about SegWit and Bitcoin Cash does not have SegWit enabled on it. In fact, that's one of the things that they took out when they split from the main chain. So this video will be specifically about just Bitcoin. Uh, now, if you have no use for Bitcoin Cash, you do have the option of tapping Remember My Choice and you won't see this again unless you go into the settings and change it. So I'm going to tap on Bitcoin here. And quite simply, now you see this additional uh, dialog box come up and you can see you have the options of legacy or SegWit. Legacy would be a regular Bitcoin transaction. SegWit would take advantage of the optimizations enabled by this new upgrade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit SegWit. It's gonna open up a, uh, a new window here and I'm gonna see probably when I first open this up, if I haven't set it up before, I'm not going to have any accounts. All right. Now I have set this up before and moved some Bitcoin into it. So you're seeing obviously a blurred out screen because I don't want to show off uh, what I've got here. But um, if you do not have an account yet, all you're going to do is you're going to head up, you're going to hit the add account button in the top right of the window. You're going to give the account a name. So maybe Segwit1. And then you're going to just pick a color for that wallet, maybe, I don't know, forest. Once you've done that, you're going to hit add and you'll have a brand new SegWit address. And that's, that's it. Now, I've already set up some accounts, as I've said, but let's say I did have some other accounts uh, using my Ledger Nano S and they were using the legacy chain. But I want to send my Bitcoin over to the SegWit address so that I can utilize all the advancements that SegWit offers. So what I'm going to do is first I need to get my receiving address. So if I hit the receive button, it's going to bring up this dialog box here and I'm going to highlight and then copy my address. At this point, I'm going to close this little box and I'm going to go up to the settings tab. I'm going to tap on blockchains. This is going to bring me back to that original screen. I'm going to go Bitcoin again. This time I'm going to tap on legacy and that will open up all of the accounts that I previously had on my ledger wallet. Okay, at this point, if I want to start sending my Bitcoin over to my new SegWit address, I'm just going to hit the send button. I'm going to paste that address that I copied before. I'm going to pick the amount of Bitcoin I'd like to send, and I'm going to pick which account I'd like to send it from. Uh, and then I can choose my transaction fee and hit send, and it'll head right on over back to my SegWit address. Settings, blockchains, Bitcoin, SegWit, 
and I should be able to open it and see that transaction incoming. And that's it. You're literally just setting up a new account and sending your Bitcoin over to it. And then you can utilize segregated witness and take advantage of the lower fees and higher transactions per second. The more people that do this, the lower the fees become and the more transactions we're able to fit per second. So if you'd like to utilize those features, then I highly recommend you doing this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, drop a tip if you're able to, and share this video. Also, if you'd like to support the show in another way, you can check out down below. I've got affiliate links to pick up a Ledger Nano S if you choose. You can pre-order a Ledger Blue, or if you prefer, you can go over and you can grab a Trezor. And on a final note, uh, I've recently been having some of my videos demonetized because they've been deemed not advertiser friendly. I'm unsure what that means, but regardless, uh, I've tried to, let's say, mitigate the risk of being demonetized by starting to upload my stuff to a platform called Steemit. Uh, Steemit is basically a monetized Reddit and with upvotes, uh, content creators can make money. So, if you're so inclined, please head over to Steemit and check out my blog there. Uh, you can find me at benperrin117 and I've got the link down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time on the BTC Sessions.